relationship to like this group right here? These were all of my friends. I helped them put on their costumes. I, I helped them take care of their stuff. I helped them Bravo. on the stage, you know. Again, community team effort, it gives us, like we were talking about earlier, it's like uh, all of the different things that go into a process that you don't really understand. I actually love that about a lot of the panels that we've had up here, looking at multiplayer maps and audio, all of the things that go into it, and literally this is no different. Can you talk a little bit about some of your favorite elements of like working with stuff like this? Accuracy. Accuracy and continuing the legacy, and without things like this, I don't think the community would be as big as it is. That is awesome. Do you uh, do you cosplay yourself? Not yet. Oh, not yet. That was a confident like stare. You see that? So cosplay wise, a lot of my friends here recommended me to do an ODST. Woo! Yeah. I can see yes, it. Correct. I can see it. I I like it. I like it. Everybody, round of applause for the team players in the group. I like that call out, Brian. So, um, as mentioned earlier, we are the 405th. We have a forum. We have a Discord channel. We have a Facebook group. If uh, you want to learn how to make hard armor, we will show you the way. We will we will help you get there. Yeah! I love it. Actually, what is this made of? Like, what is this material right here? All right, so there's three main methods uh, that most of us use to make armor. Mine is 3D printed, um, and then a whole bunch of sanding. And by that, I mean, like, weeks worth of sanding. Um, and paint. Um, our awesome white and orange Spartan over here. Uh, his is made out of a form called uh, Pepicura, which is basically paper mache on steroids. And then Pinter right here, his armor is a really good example of uh, foam. So like the, the, the foam mats that you see in like workshops, that's what it's made out of. I'm actually, it's incredible though, that like the disparity of materials, but the paint jobs make them all look like they're either the, you know, the composite or the metal. Like, can you talk about some of the paint? Like, do you do your own paints or do you kind of go to specialists in the group? So, um, we're all kind of our own specialists when it comes to a lot of things. There are a lot of different painting methods. My uh, suit is painted with rattle cans with spray paint. There are people that use airbrushes to do theirs. Uh, we also do things like uh, uh, mud washing or whatever to, to make things look grungy and dirty. So there's a lot of different techniques and it all kind of depends on what your base material is and then how you want to seal it. Give a round of applause right here. Yeah! Another incredible... Cosplay communities. Uh oh. I'm getting an alert. The results are in. I repeat, the results are in. How about a round of applause for the number of people in the back? Can I get a drum roll from the audience? Maybe we should have done we were wrong. In third place, starting off the podium with an absolutely incredible display and taking home a pair of A40s and a Mix Amp Pro and cash prize, we have Jonah, the Master Chief! Can, you, can, can I get a step forward real quick? Just step forward. Give a turn, give a turn for the audience. In second place, taking home $1,500 and an AMD graphics card. Let's hear it for Jack, our Elite Ultra. Can I get a war ward from the audience? War, war, war. Here we go. That's why. Heck, can I get one from Jack too? Thank you so much. This is amazing. <laughs> I, we finally know what Wart Wart stands for. <laughs> yes, that's incredible. We have live localization from Sangili going on. And that, of course, also means our top prize, $3,000 an AMD graphics card, goes to Alexis. Yeah! Involved. How about a round of applause for our judges, Joseph Staten, Sean Barron, Megan Castro, Brian Gerard. 
a huge thanks goes out to the entire HCS team, uh, Esports Engine, 343, like all of our partners, Xbox, who helped us put together this thing. This was really awesome because it kind of got it, let us, you know, bring a lot of the Halo universe to the world championships. Uh, and of course, you know, all the competitive action is incredible, but it's really neat to also surround it with so many of the other things that orbit uh, the Halo universe, and you guys uh, make, uh, make up an incredible part of that. So, man, for the judges, for the cosplayers, for the competitors, for the number of people in the back, I'm Jeff Easterling. This has been the community stage at Halo World Championships 2022. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next year. Yeah.